guys, it's Victoria with Nutrition by Victoria and welcome to another video. Today we're going to listen to a talk by Durian Ryder, the master on sugar himself, discussing whether or not sugar is good or bad for you. So check it out. Okay, so here we have him on my Facebook page, Harley John Stone. I put up a picture here yesterday, of an advert from a magazine. I think my mum sent me this or someone sent me this. And it's just talking about how sugar curbs your appetite. It just keeps your appetite low because uh, it satisfies your appetite. So if you have more sugar, your appetite's going to be satisfied. Just try it. Try having more sugar before your meals and you'll notice you'll be like, oh, well, actually I can't even have as much as food as I used to have. So if you have a lot of sugar, you can be fantastically satisfied. So here we go. Here we've got Craig is chimed in here. He's asking a question. What's raised my concerns? Dr. Clapper, he goes into detail, negative impact that eating raw sugar has on food, any work into the body, um, the sugars and the proteins melt together. So pro like what? Like this is where Clapper is, Clapper contradicts himself so much. I did a, a video here. If you want more information, go check out this video. Dr. McDougall destroys Gregor's sugar paradox and Clapper gets served by a McDougal there in the body language. So basically, um, Clapper's trying to say that sugar has high you know, a high malleable reaction, a glycation end product reaction. Let's have a look at the truth. Let's see how up to speed Dr. Gregor is, Dr. Clapper is. None of these dudes are up to speed. So we have, they recommend fats, whole food fats. So we've got almonds is 5,000. Butter is 26 hours. Then I recommend that, but um, Gregor puts butter better than rice and sugar in his book. So we'll scroll down here for we'll go right down there for sugar. All right. So the, the the foods with the highest fat and the highest protein have the highest glycation end products. Uh, let's have a look down here. We have so we've got corn syrup zero, uh, pancake zero, honey seven, orange juice zero. Where's actually where's sugar? Here we go. Boom boom boom. Sugar is zero. Zero. I'm just wearing my doctor's mask because I've come out of surgery. <laughs> zero it's zero okay but this is what we have we have doctors out there you know just blatantly showing us the false information malleable reaction the you know like just not showing the full context not even showing the truth all right so that's that's that question answered uh, this person here Dale Beecher says refined sugar is a white powder drug performance enhancing and legal sure but it's a dangerous stimulant just the same. Sugar's a drug. It's a stimulant. You wouldn't give cocaine to a baby, so you shouldn't give them sugar either, should you? Not all that different to cocaine or any other dangerous, highly refined, white powdered drug. So when I walk for the airport with five kilo bag of sugar, which I've done before as a joke, how come the security don't pull me up? What happens if you go through any airport in the world with five kilos of cocaine or even one gram of cocaine and they find it? All right, so to say that some experts say that it's even worse than cocaine. Imagine that someone says sugar's worse than cocaine. <laughs> okay, okay, I'd give sugar to a baby, and no one's gonna put me in prison for it. Someone give give cocaine to a baby, and anyway, more damage. How, how is sugar? So the body runs on. This is this is why so many vegans fall off the wagon because they listen to to quacks like Gregor and Clapper, who are just like blah 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 blah, just go with the social narrative, who who just. So they are so undercar, they contradict themselves and don't even know it. And I'm going to call them quacks because if you're a doctor and you're saying that AGEs are high in sugar, then you're a quack. You're an uneducated quack. Right? It's, it's insane because it just makes people drop off the deep end. So we've got Dale Beecher. He's in that orthorexic vegan world right now. Uh, and it's more, how, how is it more damaging? So the body runs on sugar. What is sugar? Sucrose. What is sucrose? Glucose and fructose. They fuel every cell in the body, especially the testicles, the sperm cells run on fructose. Right? And glucose fuels everything else. But anyway, so, and sucrose is found in canes, it's found in beets, it's found in all your fresh fruits and vegetables, it's found in corn, it's found in lentils. So what next? Lentils are the same as cocaine because it got sucrose in it? Like, far out, man. This is insane. Coca leaf will get you high. Nobody's getting high on lentils. No one's getting high on bananas. No one's getting high on sugar, right? Sugar can't get you high. It's not a drug. It's a nutrient. Anyway, when dead people cannot, when people cannot tell the difference between refined processed dead sugar, nice sound bite, and the natural alive sugar, what, what, what makes, so when you go put, when you put sucrose under a microscope, uh, under an electron microscope, 
Can you tell if it's dead or alive? No, you can't. All right? Sucrose is sucrose. <laughs> it's not dead or alive. What? It's like saying that mercury is alive or mercury is dead. Well, if I've got alive mercury, if it's raw mercury, that's healthy. But if you've got dead mercury, cooked mercury, that's poison. No, no, it doesn't work that way. All right? It doesn't work that way. Um, hilarious. Eating whole, raw, alive, organic fruit. That's a different sugar, Harley. That's not, that's, that's sucrose, but that's not the same. Sucrose is, what well, if you cook it in the sunshine? Like, what, then, what, then you, what if you get a mango, right? And it's on the road, and it dries out. It's been cooked on the side of the road, and you eat that. That's sucrose. It's dead. The mango's not growing anymore. It's a dead, is the mango the same as cocaine? <laughs> this fucking dried mango on the road, so it's cocaine? Far out, man. These people, and they mean well, but man, it's just dangerous advice. It's very revealing of the reflection of the intellectual. Dale, I think, my friend, let's just go. No, we'll go to Dale's page. You might get seen as. Anyway, so I've written here, blah, 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 blah. My, you know, and this is the hot ass I like to wake up to more. And that takes sugar, it takes energy. So there you go, there. That's just a bit of, um, you know, let's go to Natasha's page. So you can see here, this is Natasha. She's 22. People say, oh, you, she's 22. You can eat anything that is 20. No, you can't. No, you can't. Like, tag me in someone on social media who's 22 and just eats anything. Just, you can't get fat when you're 22. You, just, you can't, you can get anything. Oh, when you're 22, you can do anything. You get away with it. No, you can't. How many 22-year-olds are obese and overweight in Australia right now in America? A lot. Most. Many. Go to any high school. They're all on diets and drugs and Adderall and shit like that. So here's Natasha here, you know, does a little bit of exercise, but eats a low-fat diet, all right? Eats a low-fat diet. Here we have here, bikini at the beach, and uh, this is the reality. You know, this is the reality I wake up to every morning. This is high-carb, this is sugar, all right? So this is apples here, and they contain sucrose, all right? Sucrose is sucrose. Sucrose is sucrose. It's four calories per gram. It doesn't matter if it's cooked or raw. It's still sucrose. It's four calories per gram, okay? Simple as that. Oh, it gives you a sugar spike. Everything gives you a sugar spike. Refined weight table sugar has a lower glycemic index than a whole cooked baked potato, organic, okay? Which is, which is, the potato has about 100 glycemic index. Refined sugar is about 65. I get pretty wrapped up about all this stuff, this anti-sugar stuff. It's, it's hilarious. And people say, oh, you always showing off the Tasha's body. Why are you always doing that? You, you, carrots have sucrose. Because people say sugar makes you fat. So, well, of course, we're going to put scantily clad Duran Rider and Natasha, etc., all over the YouTube so people can see that if you want to keep that lean physique, you're best having a diet high in sugar, high in sucrose. If raw or cooked, it doesn't freaking matter. Keep away from the oils and the fats if you want to keep your body fat down. If you want to keep your health up, keep away from animal products. Simple as that. This is the reality. I get rid of these tomatoes. Get tomatoes is what Natasha said. Get rid of tomatoes. Tomatoes have sugar. Anyway, people, hopefully that helps. Don't follow anyone else. Follow us. We don't contradict ourselves. It seems like everybody else out there on YouTube contradicts themselves or bullshits you and hides what they actually do eat in terms of carbs, sugars, etc. So anyway, that's the reality. If you want our results, follow what we, what we recommend. Thanks for watching. Peace. I get hyped up with this anti-sugar stuff. Sugar lives matter. Sweet lives matter. Life's meant to be sweet. Get your sugars in. And there you have it. Everything you need to know about why sugar is actually good for you. And I've personally been experiencing all the benefits of having a lot of sugar in my diet in the form of fruits, refined cane sugar, and starches. So yeah, the results are in the high carb pudding. Give it a try. Don't knock it until you try it and start reaping the results of a high sugar diet today. All right, bye guys.